Hello again, this is Mark Summers from Summers Technical Services. We're going to get started uh, today on our RF load tray assembly assignment. So we'll do an overview at the beginning and then we'll break it down into individual part entries that designers, the students will be doing uh, on their own. And so as an overview, this is going to be a team project. So each student will take on the role of a designer and I'll be leading the team, so I'll be the lead engineer on the project. This is a considered a bottom-up design. What does that mean? Well, this is not the normal way product is designed. Normally we do a top-down design and we'll do that a couple of different assignments near the end of the semester. But for bottom-up designs, probably the simplest way to describe it is designers individually on the team design their own parts on their own, and then you assemble those parts. So that's what we're going to approach we're going to do is a bottom-up design on this assignment. And it'll be three or four team members, depending on who shows up to uh, get assigned to the projects. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, it's going to be made up of several parts. The first part is the base plate. And as the lead engineer on the project, I've already designed the base plate. And it's got a part number, 2709288. And I'll be supplying you a CAD model and a drawing, a detailed fabrication drawing of that part, because all of your parts are going to be interfacing to a part I've already designed. So if you want to know the size of the hole required in your part, you're going to have to go look at my part that your part bolts to. Okay, so that'll be provided to you. Now the parts you're going to be designing are going to be as such. There's five of them, and they're labeled on the uh, exploded view provided here on the sheet up here. And the first part that I just described is 2709288 is this part right here. Okay, the other parts are going to be, there's a dash 01 handle and there's a dash 03 standoff and there's a dash 05 bottom plate and there's a dash 07 capture block. And there's a dash 09, dash 09 stop block. So let's go identify these parts in the drawing we've got. So the dash 01 handle is this part right here. This is a part that you're going to specify from a manufacturer called RAF Hardware. So you're going to go to the RAF Hardware website, you're going to browse through their product literature, and you're going to find a, an appropriately sized handle that will do the design that we need. The next part is this Dash 03 standoff, which is right here. Again, this is going to be a part that's going to be specified by the RAF hardware data sheet. So you're going to go to the RAF hardware website, browse the literature, and find a 3 8 inch hexagonal male-female aluminum standoff that will meet the requirements of the design. And I didn't mention that on the handle. The handle is also made of aluminum. All of these parts are going to be made out of aluminum, and you're going to specify the material and finish based on your design expertise. So the third part is the bottom plate. Oops, it looks like the same color. Let's pick a different color. So the bottom plate is this plate right here, and it mounts on the lower surface of my base plate. It's also made out of aluminum and the information is listed there. This part is going to be designed. It's going to be a custom design, and so there's no website to go to to get a data sheet. You're going to do your own custom design. The next part 
is the capture block. Capture block is shown right here. There's two of them, but you'll just do one common design. This is a designed part, and so it won't have any related manufacturer. We can't go buy that anywhere. We've got to make a custom part design. And so that'll be, if you're assigned that part, that's what you'll be doing. And then the last one is a stop block, which is back here at the back, the dash 09 stop block. And that's also an aluminum part that's going to be a custom design. So parts 01 and 03 are parts you're going to specify. You're going to do a CAD model of them. And then the other three are custom designs. You'll also do a CAD model of those. Once all the team members do the part models, some team members will do one part, some team members will do two parts, depending on how proficient you are as a CAD designer. And then once all the parts are completed, then we're going to, or you're going to define appropriate sized fasteners to mount your part. And looking at the explosive view, some of the fasteners or all of the fasteners are McMaster Car black oxide socket head cap screws. The sizes will be determined by the size of the threads that are required and the links will be required or will be, be determined by the thick, uh, the depth of the parts required. None of the screws should stick out the bottom side of the plate because I don't want those screws scratching up the tabletop that the assembly is done on. So each student will go to McMaster Car and find part numbers for their fasteners. And you're not going to do any CAD modeling of these, you're just going to download them from the McMaster Car website. And when I say fastener hardware, that, that's uh, up to three different things. It's going to be a screw, one or more screw. Potentially it'll be a flat washer and potentially be a split lock washer. And you can see on the exploded view, if there's two washers shown, the first one is a flat washer, the second one is a split lock washer, which helps keep the uh, fastener, fastened assembly from uh, vibrating loose. If there's only one washer shown, then that's a split lock washer. So again, you'll download those from McMaster card. And you already know about that website because that's where we got our assignment one information from. And you're going to save that as a SOLIDWORKS part. So if you download it as a step model, that's fine. You need to open it up in SOLIDWORKS and do a save as and save it as a SOLIDWORKS part. Also on the file name, you're going to want to use just the part number as the file name. No descriptions, no nothing because that's going to be make our assembly drawing come together much easier. So use the part number as the file name of these McMaster car parts. Same thing with your parts you're designing or uh, specifying, use our same format we've used all semester, which is NRG, class number, student number, assignment number, which in this case I believe is 06, and then your part number, either dash 01, 02, 03. And if you're designing, uh, if you're doing the standoff or handle, go ahead and give it this custom number so I can keep track of who's building the part. Okay, the last thing to talk about are these two large parts at the top. And these are parts that I've also specified and I'll be giving you data sheets and CAD models for. And the first one is a NARDA Manufacturer name is NARDA, it's a 29992. Oops. And there's a NARDA. First one is, a, is an adapter. You'll see what it's adapting to once you look at the data sheet. And then the other one, part number, I believe, is a 368. 
NM, and that's the RF load. Okay, and those parts you can see in the drawing up here. Uh, here's the uh, large NARDA part, and then here's the adapter. And uh, so that should be a good overview. What I'll do now is break, break the uh, next videos into five different parts for the five different uh, parts you're either specifying or designing for our RF load tray.